Master Plan is a small-scale graphic outline that shows all the major elements of a project. Also called Site Plan, this document contains detailed drawings of a proposed project in a defined land area. You can get the Master Plan from your builder or project website. The ideal Master Plan should have details of the plot like its dimensions, boundaries and adjacent plots. You should be able to see the number of entry and exit points, amenities like sports facilities, commercial complexes and the green areas. It should also give you a fair idea of how vehicular traffic moves inside the complex. Personal space is a major factor that goes into selecting a home. A master plan shows you how far individual houses and blocks are from each other and how close they are to different entry and exit points. Housing projects come in all shapes and sizes and so do their master plans. You have thin rectangular plots. This is a very basic layout design. Buildings are usually placed side by side with all the residential units grouped together. There are limited entry and exit points and vehicular traffic moves along the periphery. The common issues with this sort of design are limited views and less space between houses and buildings. Next, there are triangular plots. They are usually located at corners and are bounded by roads on at least two sides. People living in units closer to the periphery might face constant pedestrian and vehicular traffic noise. Check how traffic moves within the compound and whether the entry and exits offer easy road access. Sometimes there's a public road running through the project. In a situation like this, residential units are spread out on either sides of the main road. While selecting a home, check whether both sides have separate or common amenities. Find out if you'll need to cross the main road or if there's a dedicated private path to get to the other side. Finally, we have pay-wise development. This type of project is constructed in stages. Each phase may or may not have all the amenities you want. For a project like this, check if all phases have all the amenities. If not, find out if your house lies in the phase which has them. While visiting the site, try to inquire about the abutting plots and its future development plans as it may lead to constant construction noise, ventilation problems and might even affect privacy later on. For more information, check out commonfloor.com.